With the summer drawing to a close and the doldrums of yet another year in public education awaiting us unfortunates in the first world, it's time to stop twiddling our dicks and start making the crucial decisions. What games should we buy to keep our minds off of school for as long as possible? Well, there's a veritable fruit salad of choices, but for brevity's sake, I'm going to pick Titanfall 2 and Battlefield 1. But because I'm broke as blue balls, I can only choose one. Well, Titanfall is a pretty epic space shooter guaranteed to give any sci-fi nerd the tinglys in his nether saber. Or her nether region? Nether trench? Her nether trench, yeah. You're able to make full use of the environments, there's easy to kill AI just in case you're sucking it up on a particular round, or all of them, and like an angel descended from an otaku's wet dream, you get to pilot giant robots and smash people in the face with them. Unfortunately, the previous game didn't have much in the way of story or substance, which made it a one-week stand before most players dumped it entirely. On the other hand, Battlefield 1 offers something most modern shooters don't, non-modern warfare. History buffs are gonna cream their red pants history joke. At the sight of all the historical accuracy and gamers have never stopped loving Battlefield because of its mostly destructible environments. So that's a plus. Plus, with that plus, with 64 souls in one game at a time, each match is guaranteed to be a bloodbath that no self-respecting player is going to want to miss out on. However, Battlefield is one of those mega franchises that blots out the sun for smaller titles, crushing any competition before it even has a chance to get behind the starting line. So should I really be supporting such a huge corporate monstrosity? Hmm, I... I really don't know. Both games have their merits, and both games could turn out to be great and fantastic, or utterly horribly disappointing and not good at all. And I don't really care about the enhanced graphics or the historical accuracy or all the other bells and whistles. I, I mean, I do, a little bit. But what I care about more is just having fun. And both these games look like they could be a lot of fun. Huh. Well, we all have to make the tough choices in life once in a while. <sighs> Which is why I choose... Call of Duty Infinite Warfare! Woo! It's different now because it's in space! Yeah! Evil will feel that fucking testosterone! God damn it! Now, with that, I've been James Kukon. This has been Segment Next. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and prepare your sphincter. School is on its way. Good night!